We've been trying biological seed treatments for a few seasons now. I'd say 2018 was the first year. Where we are now, we're comfortable with the mix that we have, that we're covering all bases between yeah, nutrition, microbes and stimulants that are there for the seed to grow so that when the roots come out initially, they're, they're making a relationship with the soil microbes. As far as the process goes, when you're trying to do more biological seed treatments, it's no different to uh, when you pickle a seed normally. Usually you get the seed grader to come out and they might do it. We always got the seed grader maybe a month before planting, whereas now that we don't pickle when we get seed graded, when it's stored in our silos, we just treat the seed as it's going to the truck before it meets the air seeder cart. For doing the seed treatment now, just got a 20 litre mixing jug so I can put all the products in here plus the powder and get that mixed up. And then that goes into this 100 litre, what used to be a quad bike sprayer container. So we'll put six mixes into there, which is almost 100 litres. And then it can gravity feed down through garden hose into a 12 volt water pump. And that 12 volt water pump takes the product and we'll put it onto the seed as it gets delivered up the auger. As it's flowing out of there and getting treated on the seed, we're making more mixes until we have enough to treat the amount of seed we're gonna use. I can keep an eye on everything if it's going and, and mix without any rush. Super straightforward, very simple. So the mix we use at the moment would contain different kinds of nutrients for the seed. We try and set up the seed right away so that the microbes have some food to eat whilst they're trying to create a relationship with the plant. So the plant gives the microbe sugars and the nutrients are then return to the plant through the microbes. What we did there is we put on some effective microbes or beneficial anaerobes. That was the first product. And then we added some mycorrhizal fungi and trichoderma, which was the powder. In the research I've done since that frost event, information I found out was that mycorrhizal fungi is one microbe that is usually low in most cropping environments. So that is one we place on the seed as a powder. Best to mix them together because it's a more watery substance before we added the last product which was more of a fish, molasses, humic, trace mineral addition to our seed mix. What I would say is if you start using some of these products with the molasses and humic substances, they can be a bit more viscous or thick. For our process that we use here, with the three different products, one of them is sticky and the two others are more water-based. So we will add the water-based into this 20 litre container and then put the powder in and get it mixed up first before we add the sticky substance. Otherwise, you can find that the powder stays clumpy and won't flow as well through your setup. So we found that the water pump would block up if, unless there was a gravity feed that was pushing the liquid in initially, especially if you stop the pump in the middle or something goes wrong. It, before, when we had the container sitting on the ground, it wouldn't feed very easily, but with the gravity feed now, it pushes the product through the pump so it never gets blocked up in the pump. For us to do the 16 tonne this season, I would say from go to woe, from the start of treating till when it was all into the chaser bin would have been probably an hour and a half. Because we don't use starter fertiliser now and we spread on guano for our phosphorus, we can fill the whole air seeder cart up with seed. So I'm doing about 150 hectares per fill. That's pretty well a full shift, 12 hours. So when we first started and we didn't have any pumps or containers that could make it a little bit more easy for us. The, I remember the very first time I did it, uh, we had a 20 litre mixing jug and we had a paint stirrer. We had a 20 litre mix done that was all stirred up and ready and I had a one litre measuring jug and I would sit at the base of the auger if the seed was coming out of the silo and I would time it on my watch because I knew a tonne was every minute and a half. So I would pour 10 litres onto the seed over a minute and a half and yeah, you don't need very fancy tools to get going initially and you do feel a lot better about doing it because you're adding nutrients because the products aren't chemicals. They are more biological and uh, user-friendly inputs, yeah. There was one season where we did the seed treatment and instead of putting into a truck or a chaser bin, we put it into a Sherwell with a cone-shaped bottom. That's not a good environment, I would not recommend because when we tried to deliver that seed, the auger wasn't pumping out anything. So we had to open up the slide tray on the bottom and free initially the wet stuff that had compacted down and then the rest of the grain flowed all right. So when we used to use a truck 
and we delivered the grain to the air seeder cart. We would allow it to sit in the sun for maybe two hours before we try to put it into the cart because it wouldn't flow out of the truck very well. Now we use a chaser bin with an auger in the bottom so the treated seed gets augered out of the silo and then into the chaser bin and by the time the chaser bin gets out there there's probably a couple of hours have passed, maybe an hour and a half and then it's also going through another auger before it enters the air seeder cart. So I find that handling seed like that a couple of times gives you no dramas when you're trying to put it into the SEDA cart or use the seed. To try and source untreated seed in, in an area where wheat and barley, for instance, cereals are grown, is probably not too hard if you're not chasing new varieties all the time. There's a lot of leftover seed from previous seasons that you can get a hand on that has not been treated yet before it's been seed graded. Even if you do get a new variety of seed uh, that is treated, at harvest time you can always store your own seed for the following season or seasons coming up ahead. Then you have your own untreated seed that is grown on your ground and year on year it'll get better because it understands your native soil. They learn the environment that they're growing in and create a relationship so they're even more resilient when they are coming out of the ground. So when you see a good crop that's been biologically seed treated, whether it comes across an event that is disruptive to it, like a frost, we know that it's already made relationships with the soil as best it can so that it has its best chance of protecting itself from that event.